welcome to another episode of The Musician's Gear. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. We're back at KSM Music in Logan, Utah, taking a look at the Gem Junior by Evanes. But before we do, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way, you can be the first one to see new videos as they are released. Alright, let's jump into the video. The Ibanez Gem, originally manufactured in 1987, is co-designed by Steve Vai and also played by him. He is also the most notable guitarist who ever played this guitar. One of the most notable and recognizable things about this guitar is a big hole through it that also doubles as a grip, so you can pick it up. And it just, I don't know, it looks pretty cool, I think, in my opinion. And then another thing is, so this is a junior version based off the original gems. Also has a raised bridge, which is very nice. The headstock, it's very notable to Ibanez, very recognizable. Comes to a point, here let me take this off. And you can see, this is Ibanez Gem Junior. It's so very similar to the original gem, but a little bit different. All right, we're gonna take a look at it now. Plugged him in. So far playing it, it's pretty smooth to play. The action's a little low, but that's obviously something you can set up when you hit the guitar. Um, and you like how there's a whammy bar. It's a very interesting so little, little grip for it. Um, it's kind of cool. I mean, it doesn't. It's not like a like a Jackson guitar flying V. Sometimes the V gets in the way of you playing and stuff. It's still like the body's very doable. I, I really like it actually. And I mean, it looks cool, it sounds good. For what you pay, this is actually a pretty sick guitar. Honestly, like, you can't go wrong. Um, I've never personally owned a gem, but playing one right now, it's a lot of fun. I've had a couple friends own them and let me jam on them a little bit. Um, I would have rearranged the, the action on this and the bridge, but the fact that it had a wham bar, and it's just super easy to play, and has, Pretty sweet pickups you have, you can see right here, you have one single coil and then you have the two humbuckers, which is super nice so you can switch in between them. If you want to have more of that twangy sound from like a single coil, you can do that and um, you can really get the sound that you want. It also looks pretty badass, if you ask me. I mean, I don't know what it is about just cutting out a hole and, you know, reshaping the body just a little bit, like that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, I think Steve Vai knew what he was doing when he designed it, so... Anyways, you can have this guitar for how, how much you think it's going to be? Any guesses? No? Alright, so you can have this guitar. The price listed here at KSM Music in Logan, Utah is $4.99. See right here? You can also rent. Um, or you can, you know, do monthly payments. Sorry, not rent, monthly payments. So, you know, you can pay $83 a month if you want to pay it off. Or you can just pay $4.99, get it today, you know. Um, I kind of want one of these now to add to my collection, but uh, might have to wait another time. Maybe they'll give me a deal, we'll find out. But if you're interested in this guitar, I definitely recommend going to KSM Music in Logan, Utah, just talking to whoever's there, saying the musician's gear sent you, and just Pick it up. I, I think you won't regret it. Um, if I had one of these, there's no way I'd probably get rid of it. Um, this is a little bit cheaper one. Like I said, it's the Gem Junior. This is a little cheaper than some of the other Ibanez gems that you can get, which is fine because then you don't have to break the bank, you know, paying over a thousand dollars or however much the other gems cost. The main difference, since this is a Junior versus like an, another Ibanez gem, 
that isn't a junior. Mostly has to do with the pickups that are put in it. They usually have a little bit nicer pickups, um, which is kind of what you're paying for. So with a lot of guitars, a lot of times that's the case. You'll get a very similar body, maybe even the same like paint job and everything, but you'll be paying for a better bridge, you'll be paying for better pickups, and just the electronics inside of it. And so that's kind of the main thing you're, you're really paying for on a nicer guitar. So a lot of people say it's how you use it, not necessarily what you have. I know a lot of professionals in the music world say it's not necessarily the most expensive gear you have, it's how you use the gear that you have. Which I totally agree, I've used many guitars, I've used many uh, interfaces, I've used many, many different DAWs, digital audio workstations, and if you really know how to use them, then it doesn't really matter if you have something completely professional, top end, versus something that's, you know, kind of amateur. The main thing, I mean, there are changes for sure. If you're in the professional world, just that much of a difference of the sound, it makes or breaks it, right? And you have the money to buy it. So, I mean, you want to work your way up to that point. So, if you're, you've ever liked the gem look, you want an Ibanez gem, the gem junior, I think it's a good way to kind of break into it. See if you really like it before you spend a lot more money for a normal Ibanez gem instead of juniors. So that, that's just kind of my opinion on it. I mean, everyone can do their own thing. If you have more money than I do to buy just any guitar you want at any time, then go for it, I say. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. If you ever played one of these two, let me know. And let me know what your experience was. If you think it's higher than a, an 8 Point two, let me know, or if you think it's less than 8.2, also I'd love to hear your opinions and kind of your comments from your personal experience using this guitar. Hopefully this was somewhat insightful, and as always guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.